Ms. Kazare, will you also toe that line? You will now applaud the president as well? Well, I would just say um, in this regard, it's laudable that he has done what he has done. But then again, there, there's a question. Yesterday I was at a business dinner and there were people who had the concern that is it because they are women that it has been easy for him to be able to suspend so far and um, two women and then bring one to the EFCC. We haven't seen that happen in, uh, in other fields. For example, what happened in Plateau State. What, for example, what happened in Kaduna State in matters of security. We haven't see, I haven't seen the willpower from his office that he is actually interested in in fighting corruption, this, like, like the, the first lady just, the, the lady before me, Oluchi just said, it's very, very clear that he's just doing his job. There are a plethora of things that have happened in past governments that have not been investigated, and even now. So it's, it, 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 there was a ministerial retreat. So are we going to say that the, the people who sat at that very expensive retreat didn't learn anything while they were there, that such errors are being made? We have the situation with Nigerian Air, for example. They've been quiet about that. So I'm very curious to know what next? Absolutely, and, and that's one of the questions that we asked as well at the start of the program, how the government, uh, the presidency, will handle this.